Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. He's a seasoned music executive who's best known for the managing for managing the Grammy-nominated girl group SWV. His career, although extremely busy, seemed to be clicking on all cylinders until it came to a halt in 2016 when he suffered a stroke. He was only 42 years old. Now on his continued road to recovery, he's partnered with the American Heart Association and the American Stroke Association to educate, empower, and advocate for others. Please welcome down to the circle, Corey Taylor. And he's joined by Dr. Ronnie Whitfield. Thank Yay! Thank you for having me. Thank you, my friend. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Thank my you. God, today, 42 yes. years old. Yes. And had a stroke. I was actually 41. I was 41. weeks away from being 42. My yes. God, okay. Um, Briefly take us through what happened. Like, what happened up to the point where you had a stroke? That morning, um, I woke up, mm -hmm. and I felt a numbness on my right side. So I thought I slept wrong. So I jumped out of the bed, yeah. and the numbness um, went away. Okay. So I went about my day. Didn't think right. anything else of it. Um, that was a warning. I missed that warning. Um, later on that night, after I'd done everything, was chilling for the evening, that numbness came back. I jumped back up and I went to and take a shower. I said, this is not right, I'm going to the hospital. When I was in the shower, um, I slipped and fell. My, my equilibrium was off. Oh my goodness. And from there, I drove to the hospital. It was like five minutes away, because mm -hmm. I didn't know what was going on. I didn't know I was mm -hmm. actually having a stroke, mm -hmm. you know? And um, that was a mistake that I made. Mm -hmm. I should have immediately called 911, but I didn't know. Wow. And it went down here from there. Oh my God. Yes. Now from, from what I understand, um, it was <clears throat> a, a misdiagnosis. Uh, misdiagnosing yes. and it took the doctor several days yes. to kind of figure out mm -hmm. what was going on with yeah. Corey. Okay, the first, the next day they came back mm -hmm. and said, well the good news is Mr. Taylor, uh -huh. you didn't have a stroke. Right. I had just came back from um, Nigeria, Africa. Right. So they thought I had um, caught a virus and the virus was attacking my body. So sometimes when you have a stroke, it doesn't always show up on the uh, MRIs. Right, right, right. right MRIs. Away. I mean, yeah. viruses, yeah, yeah, they don't show up. That is so correct. So the second day they came in and told me, after they did another MRI, but it turns out that I had a stroke. And mm -hmm. it just it just devastated my world. And, the, yeah. and, and this was a stress stroke, correct? Is that what it was called, a stress stroke? Well... <laughs> Is that what, what it was? Say was uh, factor Whitfield? Stress or risk factors for strokes, Corey, is unusual. Most times we can see them on imaging, mm -hmm. but strokes can extend. So in his ischemic. case, it, 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 yeah, an ischemic stroke yeah. is the most common. Yeah. Uh -huh, but he, they, they didn't stroke. see it initially, but they can extend. So the next day you may see some, some signs of the stroke in the brain. Dr. Whitfield, uh, what happens in the body when a stroke is occurring? So you're actually losing blood flow to the brain. Mm -hmm. Corey had a warning sign. He had what I think a TIA transient ischemic stroke where the body's saying, hey, you, you're about to have one. But he oh didn't know. God. He ignored the signs and symptoms, and he continued on with his day. And we see that in the music industry. We're so busy. You guys work hard all the time. Ten-hour days is a recent study that says that people that work longer than ten-hour days are at risk for stroke. So you've got to know those warning signs. And, and the American Heart and Stroke Association uses an acronym called FAST. Mm -hmm. Face, arm, speech, time time to call 911. So if the face is numb or tingling or drooping on one side, the smile is uneven, your arms are numb and tingling, you ask someone to raise their arms, one arm floats down, their oh speech is garbled, can't understand it, mm -hmm. we're talking normally, and then all of a sudden you're slurring your speech, it is time to call 911. Corey said he made a mistake because he drove himself. By going into the emergency room by himself, they're going to triage you slowly. They're going to check wow. your blood pressure, ask you a few yeah, questions. Call the you want EMS to get you there. And, and let me say this. I'm sorry. Working in the entertainment business yeah. is already, you know this, it's, it's, it's already all, it's a monster. stressful because it's you're self-employed and the hustle yep. mm -hmm. is nonstop. It's nonstop. And you don't always have time to eat the right things. That is correct. Because you're on the go. Or eat it all. Now, or eat it all. Mm -hmm. You know, so this was all new to me. Mm -hmm. Also, I was adopted. I don't know what my family, my, my birth family, family history medical is. history is. Wow. That played a part into it too. But I did not, Selena, I did not blame it on um, anyone but myself. Uh -huh. Because there was things that I was supposed to do that I did not do. Mm -hmm. Health is wealth. Yeah. Sometimes you get so caught up in the cares of life that you forget about taking care of Self-care. And you know, in the African-American uh, community, we're not always educated. Yes. You know, that's why it's so <clears throat> awesome to have you guys here talk mm -hmm. about this and bring awareness mm -hmm. because right. there are a lot like the numbness. I have had numbness all the time in the morning sometimes just wow. from poor circulation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I get up and go on about yeah. my day, but now I'm going to think, mm -hmm. think twice about yeah. this. Um, before we talk about the recovery, I just want to, um, you to kind of highlight how long does it take okay. bef between the time you get these symptoms mm -hmm. To the, to the onset of an actual stroke so, so that a person can kind of know 
okay, I'm getting these symptoms. It's time to go. Yeah. There's about a three to four hour window that we have to okay. administer clot busting medication or medical uh -huh. devices that can r remove the clots and improve your chance of recovery and living from the stroke. Right. So at the first sign of a stroke, if the caregiver sees that you call 911, don't worry about everything else. Are you okay? Check it yeah. on. You call 911 and then you call. So there's a, mm -hmm. there's a very yeah. short window of time that we have in order to get EMS activated and get, get someone to the hospital. Yes. Now, what has your recovery process been like, Corey? It's been rough. It's been rough. I've been re and been to rehab. A lot of people don't know for the last three years since I've had the uh, mild stroke. Wow. And um, it's been rough. What did it do? The stroke. Um, I'm still suffering from weakness, numbness on my right, no, side. On the right side. You know, I no longer can run. Um, um, I still have a limp when I walk. Um, just certain, I can't work out like I want to. Just right. certain things. I'm very yeah. limited. Right. I'm very limited, and sometimes it still feels like a uh, dream because I'm very much um, active. Active. Yes. You know, um, self sufficient. You mm -hmm. know, I like to do for myself, and it still feels like a nightmare when I'm limited to do certain things. Mm -hmm. You know. That's lit. I'll, I'll add this too. We talk about something called the social determinants of health, uh -huh. where we live, eat, play, and worship is just as important as our genetic code. So, in right. other words, our zip code sometimes is more important about how we live than, than our actually genetic code. So there, I know there that's, that's a message. If you can't access a good uh, grocery store, if you don't have uh, parks and, and, and wide sidewalks to exercise, those are the things that put the African-American community more at risk. So we've got to raise awareness. By Corey coming on, you, this show, Sir, Sister Circle, allowing us to do this, we're raising awareness. We've got to get our artists to be more engaged and more in tune. Well, and then on that good note, Corey and Dr. Wilfield, thank you so much for joining us today. Keep To keep up with all the amazing things that Corey is doing in the entertainment industry and with the American Stroke Association, which is awesome. Be sure to follow him on Instagram at Corey Taylor VA.